AMD's desktop APUs are turning out to be very promising and can easily trump their previous 5000G series, as they deliver a great performance while maintaining a reasonable price tag. This lineup consists of the Ryzen 5 8500G, 8600G, and the 8700G. Though the 8600G and 8500G come with a far more reasonable price tag, it can get a bit complicated to choose. With that in mind, in our video today, we'll be comparing specs, performance, value, and overall efficiency to find out the best Zen 4 APU for you to get. So without further ado, let's begin. With both the 8500G and 8600G unveiled as part of the new APU lineup at CES, both of these utilize the same AM5 socket we've seen before on the Ryzen 7000 series. This roughly translates to, regardless of what you choose, you'll get a decent path to upgrade with any Ryzen CPU in the next few years. Bonus points for the Wraith Stealth Stock Coolers straight out of the box. For the specs, the major difference lies in the base clock speeds and the integrated graphics. The 8600G comes with a base clock speed of 4.3 GHz with Radeon 760M graphics, while the 8500G comes with a base clock speed of 3.5 GHz alongside Radeon 740M graphics. The right pick will, as always, depend on what you want to use the PC for, which we'll discuss shortly. Considering the MSRP, the Ryzen 5 8600G is a bit more expensive than the 8500G, and of course, comes with a better performance. It's much more impressive than its predecessor, as the 8600G comes with a higher clock speed and more cash. This means we get a lot more performance in demanding titles, such as the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Elden Ring, and Grand Theft Auto V, and all of them achieved 60 plus FPS easily at 1080p resolution. Granted, this result comes with the settings turned down to medium or low, but do realize these are performance metrics without a dedicated GPU. Games that support FSR, on the other hand, can be expected to be playable at even 1440p. Some of the sports titles like Rocket League, CSGO, or League of Legends can easily achieve respectable frame rates at 1440p resolution, which is an incredible feat by itself considering it's a mid-range APU. As for the 8500G, at $50 less, it's still capable of handling most titles at 1080p with low settings. However, said titles need to be chosen with care. For instance, the likes of Cyberpunk 2077 might be more or less playable on this APU, but you need to turn off FSR 2.1 for the optimum results. The major difference between these two APUs would be the integrated graphics, since Radeon 740M graphics on the 8500G are not as good as the 760M on the 8600G. If you're the kind of person who prefers to stick to eSport titles at the lowest settings, the 8500G would be the right pick. For anything else, go for the 8600G. When considering value, it's best to understand the core difference when comparing either APUs, which would be the PCIe limitations. The Ryzen 5 8500G comes with fewer PCIe lanes when compared to the 8600G. With the 8500G, you'll be limited to four PCIe 4.0 lanes for add-in GPUs, whereas the 8600G comes with eight PCIe 4.0 lanes. For the future, if you happen to add a GPU with a Ryzen 5 8500G build, it will run in PCIe 4.0 by four mode instead of the X8 mode. Basically, the 8500G build will perform worse with the graphics card when compared to an 8600G build, negating the concept of future-proofing. However, the 8500G isn't all bad if your objective is to build a budget and compact build without relying on a GPU, as this is the cheapest Zen 4 APU you can get right now. It will deliver playable frame rates in most games, and is comparable to more power and thermally efficient than the 8600G. Speaking of, the 8600G would be the better choice here, mainly because of more PCIe lanes and an overall better performance. With a reasonable price tag, it achieves even better performance with a bit of overclocking, making the 8600G the top pick if you don't want to rely on an external GPU. Normally, the comparison between CPUs like these tends to be a bit vague, 
but this time around, there's a solid winner. As 8600G comes out as the better pick with better gaming performance alongside more PCIe 4.0 lanes. The APU punches well above its weight, especially when considering the price tag, and is an overall great option for budget gamers who don't want to rely on a GPU. While the 8500G isn't as impressive, but we can still see it fitting in a few builds, especially for people who prefer to build a PC with a cheap APU that allow them to play their favorite eSports titles at low settings. The 8500G is a pretty modest processor for small form factor builds that don't draw a lot of power. Just keep in mind how it's not exactly the most future-proof option in the market. Regardless, which one of these APUs would you be going with and why? Do let us know as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.